Uh, I want to confirm that the, um, we're celebrating accomplishing commitments. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I get the sense of like, oh, sometimes I might have, use positive stuff. I'll be like, yay, I did it, or mm-hmm. or maybe do a little wiggle or something. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're like, maybe they're <laughs> breaking my concentration with concepts or just mm-hmm. making my energy more erratic or something. Um, I wonder if there are more skillful ways to celebrate. Well, sure, there are more skillful ways to celebrate, but can you do them? Well, what are they? What are they there? <clears throat> well, you finish the commitment, and then there's... So, for example, there is the reflective self-conscious awareness that you did it. That is a kind of celebration, and it's a good one. Okay? That's what you're talking about. You're reflecting upon the fact that you did it. That's good. Okay? It is an idea of self. However, it may not be an attachment to an idea of self. It may not be. Or it may be less of an attachment than what we're more attached to, which may be berating ourselves. So if you are less attached to that idea of yourself, then go with that one. Celebrate your success. You're reflecting, oh, I did a good job. That's fantastic. Nice work. All right, here we go. Wiggle. Uh, (laughs) Like that. Like the polywogs. Huh? Tadpoles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Polywog means head wiggle. <laughs> That's literally what the word means. Wog comes from the word wiggle. Um, so you're like a little polywog, and you <laughs> celebrate your success. That's a, refle- that's a self-reflective type of celebration. However, it's more subtle, but actually is more skillful that you did you did what you set out to do <clears throat> and there is actually a direct benefit of that that is present in the moment okay so you have purified your mind a little bit say your mind is therefore a bit happier than it has been in the past you can directly experience that happiness without needing to turn it into something that is self reflective so it doesn't have to be an attachment to an idea of self. There is the, the enjoyment of that liberation of mind that is present, that doesn't require reflection and storytelling about how I did something or, or how there will be good consequences in the future. But that is often quite subtle. It's, it's, it may be small, hard to find. If you can find it, well, then just enjoy that directly. And then it doesn't have to become a story about how I did it. If you can't find it, well, then you want to do what you're saying. Because you want want some kind of positive reward. And as I say, just because you say, I did it, doesn't necessarily mean that you have an attachment to that idea of self. You can acknowledge that you did it. This happens all the time. We see people do this kind of thing all the time in life. Does that make sense? Someone can say, yeah, I did that task. They can even feel proud that they did the task, but it actually isn't an attachment to an idea of self. They're simply stating what has in fact occurred and which took hard work and now it is done and that's good. You know, you see that in in ordinary life. So you can do it that way, but it is even better to have the direct experience of the reward in the moment uh, if you can, if you're able to concentrate on it. So it's like if there's a sensation or a sense of happiness or a satisfaction of having done something. So uh-huh. just simply like be with that. Yeah, so it's a good question. One way to talk about it is that it's a satisfaction about, okay, there's a satisfaction I did it. We'll divide it up into three parts. The satisfaction, I did it. The satisfaction, it is done. Okay? So there, there could be the, the attachment 
to the idea that I did it. Then you just take off the attachment, and there's simply the celebration, I did it. Then you can take off the self, and there's just the celebration that it is done. But then I'm talking about there's also the direct positive consequence of having done it that is a directly experienceable sensation that is not an idea at all. Your mind is purified. It is more clear. That is just better on its own. And then you don't need to know even whether you did anything. It is present now. Your memory of, the, of having done it is gone. There's just the fact that this is a clear and bright, vibrant mind. And that's great. And you enjoy that itself. And then the path can start to unfold without the management of thoughts. Hearing is like, isn't that a reflective sensation? Precisely. It's a direct, it is present. Your mind is clear of that, and that's much nicer. And so, You can, you can go from holding on to what was done to acknowledging simply that it's done to uh, not even needing the idea of what was done. There's simply this drawing me forward, draw, you know, Drawing me, drawing for the path unfolding, right? 